Second meeting between these two programs. They played in 2017. It was a 91-60 win for Iowa. Jordan Bohannon inside to Garza. Five points for me. Of course, the opponent is a lot different today, but this is not their first time on the parquet floor. The offense running, getting into the paint. Once he collapsed the defense, he kicked it out, and they were finally able to get that extra that open shot. To get in the stance. And credit Southern for just attacking the rim. That's what they do. They're willing to pick up some charges to get to the rim. She to the Sweet 16, but from there you got to be a lead on defense too. Yeah, that's exactly right. You play against so many of these tremendous players and future pros. You have to be able to guard the way they play. But it's a big mistake in a game like this. You've got to cool him down a little. Send somebody to help, or he's just going to keep dunking on you like that. And there is Dad Frank, who's a great follow on Twitter, by the way. Post some awesome workout videos of. Him and Luca. Luca with the rebound there. On. Rebound eventually won by Southern. There's Sadler again, really the guy that makes things go for Southern. But a Chris that he stayed after until he made 300. And that's just what his mentality is. He wants to be great in all areas. I guess that's one area that he's got to improve. Is now and look Chris it it only took him three and a half years to to break the record it took me six so he's a <laughs> lot better player and he's rebound to Wies camp off the miss by Henderson right back to him feed the man why not uh, and one selling that's a tremendous story and a tremendous first half for Iowa and Luca Garza And as Patrick McCaffrey sits on it, Iowa is going to take the shot clock violation.